Is Ethereum better than Bitcoin? We hear a lot about Ethereum, for the past few years. Sometimes, the news coverage of Ethereum eclipses Bitcoin. Is Ethereum better than Bitcoin, or does it get more coverage? We recommend you watch our earlier video on Ethereum, to get the basics. Anyway, let's summarize what Ethereum is all about. Ethereum is a blockchain technology with its own cryptocurrency, and is very similar to Bitcoin. Ethereum's co-founder Vitalik Buterin, a computer programmer, who had experience with Bitcoin and crypto technology, created Ethereum, as an improvement on Bitcoin. We'll first look at the hard facts, before we go into the details. Bitcoin was a pioneer in the field of cryptocurrency. Bitcoin created a real application for a concept of distribution network of ledgers, or transactions, namely, the blockchain network, and it also created a huge interest in cryptocurrency. In fact, people understood the terms Bitcoin and cryptocurrency are one and the same, because the rest of the cryptos had not seen the light of the day then. Ethereum introduced its own native cryptocurrency, which we'll call Ether, about six years after Bitcoin. We all know that Bitcoin was introduced by this unknown person, Satoshi Nakamoto in January 2009. Before and after Ether, there were other cryptocurrencies that came into existence as well. All these cryptos were clubbed under the common heading, alternative coins, or simply, altcoins. In 2017, Bitcoin was still overwhelmingly dominant, with a market share of around 80%. However, after that, the alternative coins started gaining some momentum, with Ether leading the way. In 2021, Bitcoin's market share went below 50% and stayed there. In March 2022, at the time of this video, Bitcoin's market share reduced to around 43%, and the second most popular cryptocurrency, namely, Ether, took a market share of around 18%. Remember? The value of Bitcoin saw phenomenal rise during this time frame. However, Ether, along with other coins, was also growing at an incredible speed, and took a big slice of the Bitcoin's market share. The period between 2015 to 2021 has been the golden period of rise, for the cryptocurrencies. We presented you these details, to help you understand how Bitcoin is still the leader of the pack when it comes to cryptocurrencies. We look at many other aspects of Ethereum and Bitcoin, and see why Ethereum keeps making headlines every day. Let's start with the basics. The first one is what we call as inflation, of Ether versus Bitcoin. Inflation is created when more cryptos are added into circulation. It's important to know how often Ether coins are added in circulation, compared to bitcoins for the same time period. Inflation is an important parameter, in investment decisions in cryptocurrencies, because it affects the demand-supply ratio. There are at least two Ether coins that are introduced into circulation, every 12 to 14 seconds. We say, at least, two Ether coins, because we are not adding the transaction fees, that are also paid with new Ether coins. On the other hand, there are six and a quarter bitcoins, introduced roughly every 10 minutes. Let's take an approximation, and say two new Ether coins every 12 seconds, ignoring other details. Since one minute is 60 seconds, and two Ether coins will be released five times, within a minute. Total Ether coins in one minute equals two times five, which is 10 Ether coins. In 10 minutes, it will be 10 Ether coins per minute times 10, which will total 100 Ether coins. In the same 10 minute period, the number of new bitcoins added into circulation, is only 6 and a quarter coins. This clearly shows, that bitcoin will stay as a cryptocurrency with limited supply, and maintain higher value, compared to Ether coin. People think of bitcoin like gold, due to its supply limits. Currently, Bitcoin's price is roughly 15 times the price of an Ether coin. The limited supply of Bitcoin has a downside though. The new Bitcoins and Ether are introduced, 
due to a process called mining. Let's look at how the mining process works in Bitcoin and Ethereum, before we explain the downside of Bitcoin. Both Bitcoin mining, and Ethereum mining, involve recording and validating a set of transactions, and creating a new block to store the new transactions, by identifying the hash of the new block. At the end of a successful process of mining, the new cryptos are added into circulation as reward, to the successful miner. The process of mining in Bitcoin is done by some special computers, dedicated for the single purpose of doing Bitcoin mining. These specialized Bitcoin mining computers are called ASIC miners. The mining algorithm used in Bitcoin is SHA-256, and with a higher mining difficulty, as seen currently, requires high power consumption and produces high heat as well. Ethereum mining is done by GPUs, and the algorithm used is called Ethash. The algorithm is highly resistant to ASIC miners, and hence the possibility, of Ethereum mining moving to ASIC miners is very low. The proof-of-work algorithm uses directed acyclic graphs, or DAG. DAGs require low CPU, and small memory for computations. This is a big plus with Ethereum mining, compared to Bitcoin mining. Let's now compare, the speed at which the transactions can be processed, by these two blockchains. We saw earlier, that the time it takes for an Ethereum block to be added, is about 12 to 14 seconds, and about 10 minutes for a Bitcoin block. Each block accommodates a certain set of transactions based on the size of the block. Unless these transactions are processed, the blockchain can't keep growing and stay functional. The current size of an Ethereum block is about 80 kilobytes. Now, by the time a new block is added to Bitcoin blockchain, which is 10 minutes, the number of blocks added in Ethereum will reach 50 blocks, which will be of a size of 4 megabytes. In that period of 10 minutes, one block of 1 megabyte will be added to process Bitcoin transactions. So, currently, Ethereum can process about 4 times the amount of data, compared to Bitcoin blockchain. There is a proposal to increase the block size in Ethereum, making the transaction processing get even faster. This makes Ethereum a much better choice than Bitcoin, from a growth potential is concerned. Let's look at another advantage of Ethereum, that Bitcoin lacks. Ethereum has a general purpose programming language, called Solidity, and hence many applications, including smart contracts, can be written and deployed on the Ethereum blockchain. These applications can be developed by any node on the network, but when it's deployed in the entire distributed network, it does become a distributed application, called, dApps. On the contrary, Bitcoin does not have a powerful language, and is very limited. The dApps are deployed in a software environment called Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM. All Ethereum accounts and smart contracts need the EVM, for its existence, and execution. EVM provides the flexibility for more advanced libraries, to be created specifically for the distributed applications, for deployment in a blockchain. Though both Ethereum and Bitcoin have transaction fees associated with them, as a reward to the miners, there is more structure with the fees in Ethereum, and is named as, gas fees. This creates a clear incentive for the miners, to validate the transactions, and create the blocks more readily. Ethereum blockchain network also has support for multiple blockchains, to use its Ethereum protocol, and exist in its software environment, unlike Bitcoin blockchain. Ethereum also has established standards for tokens, based on the underlying digital asset. The most popular Ethereum standards are, ERC-20, for fungible tokens, and ERC-721 for non-fungible tokens. Then, there are ERC-777, and ERC-1155 tokens, which contain both fungible and non-fungible assets. We have seen several differences, between Ethereum, and Bitcoin. However, there are several similarities as well. In fact, there is more in common between these two technologies than what separates them. 
Both Bitcoin and Ethereum have cryptographic hash functions, timestamped logs, block headers, digital signatures, and Merkle trees. In fact, Ethereum has two Merkle trees. Both the networks use proof of work in mining and have their own native currency. One of the important platforms for discussion and coming up with specifications has been the Ethereum Foundation. This was created at the very early stages of Ethereum's existence and can be credited to the founders for coming up with it. Ethereum Foundation acts as one of the main opportunities for discussions on the protocols and other development ideas, including Web3. Web3 or the third version of web technology is in the initial stages of discussions, and one of the goals is to make the whole internet technology implemented through blockchains. Please watch our video on Web3 to know more details. In summary, when we compare Bitcoin and Ethereum, what we find is, in Bitcoin network, cryptocurrency is the primary and sole engine for growth, whereas, in Ethereum, the native cryptocurrency is only one of the important features, but not the only engine for growth. We have to wait and watch. Ethereum does look a lot more promising, for the future of blockchain technology, as well as distributed network, and its associated applications. Thanks for watching.